Hello everyone, welcome to a new video on this channel. Some information up ahead. For this video, I've been testing a Clevo P650SA from 2014. It has got an Intel Core i7-4710HQ and GeForce GDX 970M and 16GB of RAM. The only problem of the system is the CPU because it's getting very high hot if you're running it at full boost clock rate. Um, that's why I reduced the clock rate to 2.6 gigahertz mainly to lower the temperature because if you're using the CPU on the system unlocked um, you're going to reach 90 or even more degrees Celsius. With running the CPU at 2.6 gigahertz it's staying at around 75 degrees Celsius, which is a pretty good value. In the first clip of this video, at around 12 seconds, you can see the CPU running at yeah full boost clock rate, and at 25 seconds, I already clocked it down to 2.6 gigahertz. This obviously results in lower average FPS values, especially when you're playing at low settings and medium settings because in both of these settings um, you're running into a CPU bottleneck. The GTX 970M is, isn't running at full usage in these both presets. The moment you switch to 1080p high or epic settings uh, you start running into a yeah, pretty huge GPU bottleneck. So all in all, I would recommend if you really need FPS, high FPS values, you should stick to 1080p low settings because this is going to uh, give you average 90 FPS even on this old system. This is a pretty good value. If you're more some sort of a casual gamer, I'd say you can uh, stay at 1080p medium settings, which is going to give you 70 FPS on average. 1080p high would result in 42 FPS, which is, in my opinion, um, not well playable anymore, but still okay playable. And 1080p epic settings is, yeah, pretty heavy for the system. Um, you're going to get 1080p 30 FPS average, which, which is, in my opinion, barely playable. This is, this is way too less for a competitive shooter. Okay, this uh, has been important, uh, in my opinion, to let you know that the CPU isn't running at full boost because of the compact Clevo case. You probably already knew the fourth generation is is producing a lot of heat, um, but it's it's still okay uh, performance-wise, you know, even at only 2.6 gigahertz. Yeah. So yeah, I hope you're going to enjoy this video. I tested all the presets at 1080p. I even managed to get a Victory Royal, which doesn't happen that often, <laughs> I've got to say. Yeah, I wish you all the best, stay safe and have a great day. I hopefully see you all in the next one. This week I'm going to test a Intel Celeron Dual Core APU, a mobile one. Um, which is probably going to be pretty much pain in the ass to test, but the results are going to be um, interesting, I guess. So yeah, have a great day. Stay safe. Goodbye.